one from Joe Oatman from Bend, Oregon, up near our place. The electric current in our 1999 motorhome is surging dim when connected to AC current. What could be causing this? We did have a water pipe break under the kitchen sink and pour into the floor and basement compartment under the sink, which has a metal box, which has a metal box that is plugged into an outlet on the compartment wall, which got wet when this happened. That is when we notice the start of the dimming surge. It also surges when the generator is on, but not in DC mode. Where should we begin to look for the problem to be fixed? Well, this is a tough one again, Joe, because anything involving the alternating current system does require some specific testing. If you've got water intrusion into that electrical box, and it depends on what it is, obviously it's something downstream of the transfer switch uh, or downstream of the generator and the shoreline connection. It could be the transfer switch or it could be some other component inside that coach. I'm not sure exactly what it is. But again, I, I refer you to rvtravel.com. Look up or do the search for Mike Sokol's nice series on AC uh, systems and troubleshooting. Uh, also look for my article at FMC Magazine on AC. Whenever you have water intrusion, this is crucial, it can cause some problems now as well as in the future. And this is a tough one again because there isn't just a quick fix where you change a fuse and that solves the, uh, the short problem. You may have intermittent shorts, but water intrusion, moisture obviously is one of the, uh, one of the negatives that if it happens to the AC circuitry can cause a problem. So again, without actually seeing it, this is a tough one, but you've got a good starting point because you do know that that box was flooded by the water under the sink. So that is obviously going to be a good clue for the technician that tries to diagnose that problem. So give them that, that information so that they have a starting point. One of the things that you might try doing before you take it in is to simply stick a little portable heater underneath the cabinet. Uh, if you can gain access to that, uh, to that metal enclosure, depending on what it is. If you send me a photograph of that metal enclosure, I'd have a bigger clue. But what you can possibly do is dry it out under there and see if it's just the moisture or if the moisture has caused an additional problem. Maybe once it dries out, if you blow it dry or let it air dry or, or dry it with a little portable heater, maybe that will take care of it. But again, to be sure, specific tests should be performed so that they can guarantee that you won't have any problems. Hope that helps, Joe.